Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to show you how to display a kind of a file specific, file type specific icon um, depending on the file name in the hyper reference. So basically we're going to be using a combination of attribute selector and value selector. So we do have some new CSS selectors where we can actually look at the attribute being used. Comes in really handy when you're formatting um, web forms but we can also look at the specific value because all of my anchor tags have a hyper reference attribute but I want to treat hyper references that refer to a spreadsheet differently than a word document different than a web page different than a PDF so basically I want it to look at the value of the attribute and then change the background image now, I'm only going to do a couple. I'm going to do Excel and Word. Same techniques could be used for web pages or PDFs or video files, audio files, and things like that. And this comes up with me a lot because I often let uh, students download different kinds of files. You know, sometimes they're access databases, spreadsheets, Word documents, and stuff like that. So it's kind of neat. Um, I've already got some of a page set up here. And, uh, oops, sorry, wrong button there. And basically, I've just got uh, an unordered list and if I were to look at this over in my browser here's my page just a standard unordered list but I would like to treat these a little bit differently now something you also need to know I already have some icons saved so I've already got a couple icons I've got one for Word and one for Excel and I'll play around with those two just so you get an idea of, of how it's working so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna work up in my style my internal styles here and I'm gonna do a square bracket href equals now this is basically how you structure an attribute selector if I were to stop right here it's kind of uh, not as helpful but this is how I would format an element that had a particular attribute like anchor href that's not a very realistic way to go um, where you might see this a lot is doing a type attribute I'm sorry a type element Ah, oh, man I'm really throwing you off here. An input element with a uh, type equals text, something like that. So in web forms, we use lots of input tags, input elements, and there's type equals text, and of course there's type equals radio, type equals checkbox, and stuff like that, and we'd want to treat those differently. So that's where you would more likely see it. But I'm working with an anchor tag that has an href attribute. And instead of just doing equals text, I'm going to put in asterisk equals xlsx. So I'm looking for anchor tags with a hyper reference attribute that contain somewhere an XLSX because if I'm linking over to an Excel spreadsheet it's gonna have that combination of letters now what do I want to do with that? Well, I want to do a couple things um, I'm gonna do a background image which is my iconic cell jpg I'm gonna go ahead and do a background repeat of no repeat and I'm also gonna do a background position of 100% zero okay so basically what this does is it's gonna take this individual background image and it's gonna push it to the right side the first unit of measurement is the horizontal XY coordinates so all the way to the right 100% and zero is just top and bottom and it'll just show up there And I'm gonna stop there for a second just so you can see what's going on so I'm gonna save this head over to my browser and refresh there we go and you can see that little icon just showing up behind there so I know that when this situation occurs I need that background image to show up a little bit more to the right I'm just gonna add a little bit of padding right and what am I adding padding right to to my anchor tag see that's my main selector and I'll put a padding right of about uh, 35 pixels which is wider I know than my icon which is just about 25 pixels wide refresh and now my little icon shows up right there to the right and it's only gonna show up on my Excel files only on f only on hyperlinks that link over to an Excel file and that's the basic trick right there um, I can go ahead and copy this and I'll make a little change here also for DOCX 
this is going to be my word icon. Okay, basically everything else is going to be the same. So now when I go back to my browser and hit refresh, any hyperlinks that refer to my Word documents or Excel or DOCX files will have the little Word icon show up. There we go. And these are actually part of the hyperlink too. So if you'll notice that I'm getting my little link hand, even if I go over this background image, because I've got this big padding right in here that's kind of encompassing where that icon is showing up. So have fun with this. It's not something you might use a lot, but it certainly comes in handy in this situation and certainly with web forms. So we've got uh, an attribute selector combined with value selector. So we're looking at the attribute of an element and then more specifically looking to see if it contains this value somewhere in there, this text somewhere within that value to display a specific background image. Have fun.